Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Hollow Knight. As we start off today, we are going to dash down here to the bottom left of the bench. Now that we have the Mantis Claw, and grab one more thing. Uh, this is going to be in the location where we previously picked up the Dash Master charm, which we now have equipped. Oh, and we're going to fight the Waluigi stands. Somehow very narrowly avoid getting gassed by them. And we do need a land. One more hit. Oh, once I put the Dash Master charm on, oh, the feeling of control just skyrockets. This one is really a pain in the ass where it's located. Oh, they didn't quite do it. Didn't quite. <laughs> Thought the Vengeful Soul would just be enough. Uh, so we are going to now use our Mantis Claws to slowly slide down the walls. Dashing when opportune. And then just do some more Mega Man X wall dashing up here. And we saw who it is that we're trying to meet from the other side. Look at that orange fog. Please don't leave me behind. You forgot about me? I knew you would. Everyone always forgets about me. Oh, who, who are you? Your face. You're so... So... I I'm sorry, I got lost. I don't know how I ended up here. This is Bretta. You came to rescue me, Bretta? The girl that everyone just ignores? Sorry, when I look at your face, I can hardly... I just can't believe you came all the way down here to rescue me. I didn't think anybody... Sorry, I mean, thank you. I mean, I better go. Back to town. I mean, better get home. Th thank you. Bretta is very shy. Very adorable. And very clearly has a crush on the knight who just rescued her. Her knight in shining ivory mask. So now this very nervous shy bug, uh, we'll go back to Dirtmyth, and the next time we are up there, we'll give her a visit. And the mantises, of course, are still bowing to us because we bested the mantis lords and earned their respect. So there's no longer any danger of actually just dashing our way through this area. Now we're going to be heading back up towards the central fungal wastes. And this little detail, uh, this little detour we took to the Mantis Village was so that we could get the Mantis Claws, which allow us to progress now. Where we're headed is that area that we saw Hornet make off to uh, the last time we encountered her. Now we're actually going to be able to follow her path just because... Ooh, God. I can't believe I coasted right over that. Uh, just because all the mantises respect us now does not mean any of the spore shooters or the mushrooms do. This is the spot. Hornet just kind of thwipped off and we could not follow. But since we have the mantis claws, we can now climb right up here. I have to remember that I don't have steady body on anymore. I took that off to free up enough notches so that I could put Dash Master on without overcharming. I love Dash Master. I don't really think it's worth overcharming for. I think very few charms in the game are so powerful as to be worth that. That said, there are some really potent combinations and synergies that actually do totally justify that. And when we reach this halfway mark, uh, we can drop down and open up a bridge to the other side. We still have to get to the rightmost side and open up a second path. Uh, and we'll do that by further utilizing the air dash and the mantis claws. Until we finally come here. Look at this big boy. Inspect. Large knight statue. We can insert a city crest. Excellent. 
And the moment we press on, the door drops behind us and we can't break it. We can't open it from this side. So we are hard committed for a little while to this new zone. In terms of the color palette, mm, it looks somewhat similar. A little bit more vibrant, but a little similar to uh, the Forgotten Crossroads. It's a little bluer though. Also, the architecture and the backgrounds are very different. This is a proper city. We'll find out what city once we get a little bit deeper in, but for now we have new enemies to fight. By the way, that uh, city crest that we got was from, just to remind you, Oh, these. Uh, it was from the False Knight, way back in the uh, Forgotten Crossroads. And we still have some basic husks of enemies as well. Here it comes. I don't love this enemy being right here, up in my face as soon as I land. It's kind of mean. This track is so emblematic of Hollow Knight and everything that it does well. Which is to say, be both beautiful and somber. Gorgeous and twinkly and melancholic at the same time. Great gates have been sealed. None shall enter. None shall leave. So that explains that. We have to call the elevator back up. Because the top of it is laden with spikes. So if we had just jumped down on top of it, not only would we not be able to get to this path, we would have also landed on spikes. Hey, it's Quirrell! Oh, I love how you could see the rain Go on. sliding Go off the glass. Like Capital eyes before us, my friend. What a somber place. Seems to hold the answers to many a mystery. I too have felt the pull of this place, so now I sit before I find myself hesitant to proceed. Is it fear, I wonder, or something else that holds me back? The city looks to be built into an enormous cavern, and the rain pours down from cracks in the stone above. There must be a lot of water up there somewhere. I suppose if the cave roof stayed strong this long, it should hold for us. Before I leave this kingdom, I'd like to see where all that water comes from. What a sight it must be. Yeah, that does sound nice, doesn't it? If you look down from here, through the rain, you can make out those twisted sentries. They're husks, still stuck in endless patrol. I'd be cautious around them, my friend. Their training will not have been forgotten. This city presents some formidable foes. Husks. Isn't this a wonderful spot for a rest? I so love the sound of the rain upon glass. Oh yeah, let's rest with Quarrel. Oh, look at that. His head turns, and then it cocks to the side when we sit beside him. That's so good. His head tracks you. He looks so relaxed there, like he's genuinely enjoying this. Plumbing the depths of this ancient city. Yes, it's somber, but it's beautiful too, and he recognizes that. He makes a point about these guys. They are husks. Husks who have not forgotten uh, their training. They were the guardians of the city. But husks, nonetheless, empty, void, hollow. Patrolling the City of Tears. The capital of Hellenest. Empty sentries patrolling the ruined uh, uh, capital city of a ruined kingdom. Mmm. Beautifully melancholic in a really fairy tale way. So, note those flying enemies take two hits to kill. And also, note the sound coming from this hut. 
who could this bad boy be? Have you brought me another nail to be to be honed? Leave it on the ground and return later if you're still breathing. Oh, I thought you were someone else. After a nail smith, are you? Well, you found one. Not much for talk, but if it's a nail that needs repair, then you've come to the right bug. Your own nail is in quite a sorry state. It's obviously not one of mine. Still, anything can be refined with enough effort and skill. Even that broken blade. If you'd like, I can reforge your nail. It'll make the blade even stronger. We could pay 250 Geo to the nailsmith, and he will, in fact, upgrade the nail. Just like that, the work is done. So a first blush doesn't look too different. But let's give it a swing. These die in one hit now. So half as many. Uh, those ones used to take three, they now take two. Also note that the water here is not acidic, so... We can swim in it. The centuries of the city, not so much. That is the first of many possible nail upgrades. The first one's very cheap, just 250 Geo, and Geo, over the course of the game, you get flooded with. Uh, subsequent upgrades will require a reagent called uh, Pale Ore. And that stuff is extremely rare. There's a finite amount of it in the game. Now let's head to the far right of the city. You can observe this glowing bit of the floor. And then there's this mechanism with a simple keyhole. All stuff that we will explore further in due time. We'll even see what's up that elevator. But first... She looks even cooler in the animation. Again, we meet Little Ghost. I'm normally quite perceptive. You, I underestimated, though I've since guessed the truth. You've seen beyond the kingdom's bounds. Yours is resilience born of two voids. It's no surprise, then, you've managed to reach the heart of this world. In so doing, you shall know the sacrifice that keeps it standing. If knowing that truth, you'd still attempt to roll, in Hallowness Perpetuation, seek the Graven Ash and the mark it would grant to one like you. The Graven Ash. Memorial to the Hollow Knight in the Black Vault far above. Through its sacrifice, Hallowness lasts eternal. Curious wording through its sacrifice, the Hollow Knight, is, uh, that is. We still have a map for the area, we'll take care of that, but we could still get the overworld map. And look at that. Back in the Forgotten Crossroads, we know where that is. We know that temple. That's the Temple of the Black Egg. And that is a serious endgame goal now. Oh, yeah. We kind of knew that. This reaffirms this in a strong fashion, huh? There's a lot, a lot to think about in what Hornet just told us. Hornet seems to know the score. The knight has an instinctive feel for what he's doing. Lair, not so much still. We have a little bit to go on now. We have the curious wording about the Hollow Knight being referred to as it instead of he or she or they. Kind of dehumanizing, right? Or de... I don't know. Insectifying? <laughs> Insectifying? I don't know. Either way, language that... Mm, makes it sound more like a thing. God, these enemies. Oh, no, no, no. It's not even these ones. These aren't even the bad ones. 
the bad ones are coming up. There are some flying enemies coming up that just, they suck so much, and the small platforms here do not make these too easy to fight either. What else did we get from that conversation, though? Hornet referred to, <laughs> referred to us as wanting to have a role in the perpetuation of Hollow Nest. The perpetuation of it. It implied that that's what the Hollow Knight... I mean, it's a bit more than imply. It's a strong implication. That's what the Hollow Knight did. He kept the city going through his sacrifice. What sacrifice that is remains to be seen, but something that he did perpetuated the city. Kept it going. Even in this sorry, decaying state, it's still here. It's still standing. It's in decay. It's deserted. Its denizens are mindless, but it's here. It persists. Also, why is he hollow? Have you given much thought as to why that's even the name of the game? By the way, that's just a shortcut we opened up. And hello! Let's learn Your a little bit more Gian. from Relic Seeker Lem, who wants to buy rare items from us. Come across many interesting items in your travels. Maybe you care to part with some. Offer a fair trade for each. Velmi we can sell Arthur. things like the Wanderer's Journals and the Hollow Nest seals to him. Your and he'll, for the seals, Gian. give us some lore. You know of the kingdom's five great knights. They're revered figures of Hallonest, often mentioned in the annals of the kingdom, but only as a group. Hmm. Both their names and appearance seem to have been expunged from history. So long has passed since their time, it'd be a grand achievement to discover their identities. You the also get quite a bit of Geo just from selling this stuff. Oh, Paul. Enjoy collecting their light. There's little information to be gleaned of each. Mind you, they do keep a nice shine about them, and there's nothing wrong with appreciating Velmi something's Arthur. beauty. Hmm, thought we would get more from that. What about the Wayward Journal? Velmi or the Wanderer's Arthur. Journal, rather. And they paint a morbid tale. It seems fate was unkind to most who travel Velmi the city. Velmi. Yeah. So we'll just come back to him occasionally, get a whole lot of Geo for our troubles, and be on our way. All right, where was I going with that? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't fall into the spike elevator. It's so cruel. Yeah, have you really stopped and considered why he's called Hollow? I mean, before this point, you probably figured that the Hollow Knight referred to the main character, the knight that we play. Now we know the Hollow Knight is someone else. Or so it seems. But... Why? Why is he called Hollow? Haven't honestly addressed that, have we? We learned who or what is in the Temple of the Black Egg, the Black Vault. It's the Hollow Knight itself. That's the big revelation about the Black Vault. We also got some very... Mmm. Mmm. Interesting phrases dropped. Which, they are vague as all hell, but... Again, the implication. Oh, these motherfuckers with the lances, they do that. But mostly, they just stay far away and toss the lances at you. They suck, they suck, they suck. I hate this enemy. When they're trapped in tight spaces like this, they're not that bad to hunt down. Given enough open air, mmm, they are frustrating. We got the grave in ash remark. We are seeking a grave in ash, which is definitely some Dark Souls 3 shit. Like, that's a... just a Dark Souls 3 phrase. Come on. But the big one... The big one is... 
She says that uh, we we explored the outer reaches of the kingdom and, and what lies beyond the borders and said that ours is a resilience born of two voids. What does that mean? Well, it implies that he's been tempered by whatever journey he was on before we reached uh, the kingdom of Hallownest. Because remember, we start the game outside the kingdom. We start on the Howling Cliffs overlooking uh, Dirtmouth. And we drop down into the kingdom. So that seems like it might be one of the voids that she is referring to. Resilience born of two voids. But the other one? I don't know. Don't know yet. All we can do is kind of examine the word. Try to piece together what that could possibly even mean. To be void of something. Oh my god, this music. It gets so extra. Oh my god. S sneaky little ambush too because there's a bench and corner for right above us. To be void of something is to be empty. A void is emptiness. We'll get back to that thought in a second because we have a bench that we have to pay for here right next to Cornifer who is also going to sell us a map. Isn't this a change from those twisting natural caverns? The rain does cast something of a sadness upon it all. But the architecture is simply splendid. Charting such a different space is quite the challenge. The one I've eagerly undertaken. Perhaps you'd care to purchase a copy? And that's pretty cheap. Especially because we just came from Lem. Uh, both come far to reach this grand place. Must remember to collect a trinket or two for a Zelda. We both come far... Oh, that's it. Hmm, okay. Uh, let's go to the left first. All right. Oh, it's Zo. Watch where you're going, you soggy vagabond. I don't want you splashing me. Have a miserable try time trying to keep dry. Oh, I am Zoth the Mighty, a knight of great renown. If I decide that I'm going to stay dry, then that's what's going to happen. Curse this wretched city. Water and monsters constantly fall from above. It's no wonder this blasted kingdom fell to ruin. No, Have you seen no. them? The guards who still patrol this city even after dying? Hmm. <laughs> Being overly devoted to one's duties is no virtue. He has a point. No, He's right. I hate agreeing with Zote, but he's not wrong. Oh, and look at all these snail shells. Again, we're opening up more shortcuts. This is good stuff. We're gonna get some big ones soon. These motherfuckers. Alright. We will just be patient with them. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is not too bad. Oh. Oh, no, more. Oh, God. Oh, God, they're both Lancers, too. Fuck. Oh, I hate it. This is the worst it's ever been. Uh, avoid is emptiness. Yay! Hit them both with that. After my really, really poor success rate with actually hitting things midair with... Speak of the devil. A void is emptiness. <laughs> We play with that same concept in the title, the Hollow Knight. We know now the Hollow Knight is someone else, but it doesn't discount the possibility that the knight himself is also empty. Do you know what our soul gauge is? It's called a vessel. A vessel to hold a soul. You upgrade it by collecting more vessels. 
A vessel is just an empty container. A vessel is a void, in a sense. A vessel is hollow and empty until filled. Oh, and we come across a simple key. One of, again, a finite number in the game. And we had that mechanism which will accept a simple key uh, that we passed by earlier. Before we got that cutscene. That vague but also somewhat illuminating cutscene. We could also buy a simple key uh, from Sly back in Dirtmouth. I think that's all the lore we're going to talk for today, but you can kind of see that we are going somewhere with all of this now. We've gone from literally nothing and no context to uh, vagaries. And soon enough, we're going to piece things together. Oh, I guess there is one more thing to say. Ours is a resilience born of two voids. Remember the shade that we leave behind when we die? Hmm. That's all I'll say. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Two voids. Hmm. Voids. Interesting. <laughs> and we'll talk. God, the shading on this stag is so good. Because from all over the kingdom were transported here. Not a lot was sent back the other way. Okay, let's rest to the bench. And then, let's see, do we still have much more to do here? Yes, we still have one more big thing. We still have one more big thing to do in this area. Oh, this son of a bitch. Come on. Yes, I love... I don't know why they do that, but... Sometimes they will just hover right above you. They can't do anything to you from that angle. But you can just jump up and slash them real quick like... Man, we are paying out the mouth in the City of Tears. Everything is real expensive here. It's, it's like Vancouver. But we're getting a lot of, of mileage out of our Geo. Got the stag station, got the map, got that bench. And now we have this handy dandy elevator, which brings us back up to the Forgotten Crossroads. So we're again linking the map together with shortcuts. Goddamn Hollow Knight has some very, very good level design. Oh my god, speaking of level design, that's the meanest it's ever been. Okay, no? Round two, I was going to pogo off the first thing that I dropped on. But no, they cleared out. How incredibly mean is that? That not only do you take the contact damage as soon as you fall, they also bounce you into the spikes for another point of damage. Oops. Did not dash in time. I didn't have the recovery animation uh, after the fireball. And speak of the devil... That is a Vessel Fragment, our very first one. Uh, unlike the Mask Fragments to upgrade our health, we only need three Vessel Fragments to upgrade our, our Soul Vessel. I'm gonna hit up the right side real quick, just to see that we are indeed in the Forgotten Crossroads. So we've now linked these two areas up, and it means that we're no longer trapped in the City of Tears anymore. That is going to do it for now. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one.